Hi everyone, I'm Lauren McLean, and today we're gonna to go on a little nature walk looking for nature protagonists and antagonists. I have a hard time with that word. <laughs> uh, so in essence, what we're looking for are the native species that grow here and the invasive species. So let's go for a little walk together and see what we can notice and identify. So we're on this gravel disturbed trail and I look down to the side here and I can notice the trailing blackberry plant, which is native to us living here in BC. Traditionally, the fruits were eaten fresh and the leaves were picked and used for a medicinal tea. It's a low-lying plant with leaves of three. Here's the Himalayan blackberry, an invasive plant because it crowds out the other low-growing vegetation. It creates a very dense thicket and spreads easily. And look how tall it's growing here, climbing up and clinging onto this tree's branches. On the sidewalk area, we found some dandelions, which are non-native, not technically invasive here in BC. But right beside it is the creeping buttercup, which are invasive as well as poisonous if ingested. Here's some English ivy growing down low. Someone has removed it from the tree's trunk, thankfully. It's very quick to climb and cover trees and buildings. And this is one that we often remove as quickly as possible. At the trailhead of this path, we've now found some English holly, which is also invasive. Look how prickly the evergreen leaves are, with bright red berries. Lastly, here is some Oregon grape, which is native here. It looks similar to English holly, but less spiny, and when the berries come out, they're more of a purpley blue. That's it for today. Have fun on your nature walk looking for other examples of native and invasive species.